All right, I'm going to go ahead and show you um, how to get Zoom started, a little bit about Zoom. So you should have Zoom already installed on your phone. And so now I want to show you uh, how to, you know, access it if you're trying to join a meeting. So pay attention to uh, the, the right hand side of the screen. This is as if it were your phone. And then this is what the host would be seeing over on the left hand side, the one that is in charge of the meeting. So just mainly pay attention to the right side. So somebody sent you a link, maybe for Sunday school, um, and you first need to click on the link. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that link. And when that link opens, it's going to, uh, the first little thing says your meeting should start in a few seconds. Okay, it, if the Zoom app is installed, please click join meeting. So I'm going to go ahead and click join meeting because I know that I have it installed already. So once that happens, okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, it's going to ask you for your name. All right. And so I'm going to go ahead and click. Uh, well, let's just change it to my name. OK. Um, and this is the test. So I'm just going to say test. Um, and then I'm going to hit OK. OK. As soon as this opens, um, you're going to see several things. You're going to, number one, see the host. Um, but I don't see myself, right? I don't see on this phone myself. I know I see obviously myself, but that's because it's being coming from the host side. So I got two cameras here. Um, so again, the right side, let's pay attention to that. So, okay. So, uh, something again, paying attention to the, this right side. If you click anywhere on your screen, you'll notice some things down here will appear. Okay. One is audio. One is video. One is share, and then it'll, it'll keep disappearing on you, uh, participants and more. So let's talk real quick about the uh, first thing is audio, okay? So in order to start your audio, if you don't start your audio, nobody will be able to hear you, um, or you will not be able to hear anybody. So if I click and I tap one on this once on the screen, it'll say join audio. I select that bottom left, and then that little area that says call via device audio, I need to select somewhere in that area with my finger. And when I click on that, it's going to go ahead and uh, have this right here. Now it's saying when it has a slash to it, it's saying that I don't, I'm muted. So nobody can hear me. The host can't hear me. Nobody else can hear me. So if there's a lot of things going on at your house, you might want to keep it muted. You can hear them, whoever's talking, if theirs is unmuted, but they can't hear you. All right. So for now, I'm just going to keep that muted. Let me show you what it looks like though when I unmute. Let's see here. So if it's unmuted, it looks like this right here. So now they can hear me. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, mute it. And then now I'm going to go ahead and start my video. Notice how the video has a slash. That means that the host and over here, the host can't see me. Daniel Tess, that's me. And they can't see me. But if I go ahead and uh, click on the video thing, all of a sudden you're going to see me appear over here. Okay. Um, so now my video is running because it does not have a slash through it. If I look, if I want to turn it off again, so nobody can see me, there we go, slash. So now no one can hear me, nobody can see me, I can just hear everybody else and then see people if they have their video on. Okay, so um, let's, uh, I'm just gonna keep those things muted. Let me go through the rest of this stuff. So this share button really is if the host allows for you to share a screen, that just means that you could share your own screen, okay? Um, you would click on share and then um, maybe you want to share some picture or something but the host has to give you permission to do that um, and then right here are the participants if I click on that it shows me everybody in the meeting it shows me who has their mic muted video off all that good stuff okay um, and then if I want to get out of this screen I need to go to close which is the top left and then it brings me back to this screen. Okay. Now I want to quickly go through the more section. So if I go to the more, um, this is what you're going to see. You see a, uh, a clap, you see a thumbs up. So these are just reactions. So maybe someone said something, um, you can hit this and then notice how it appears right here on my picture for everyone else to see. Okay. Um, let's go back to the more, um, down here you have chat. So if I click on the chat, it's going to take me in here. 
And with the chat, you have an option to send a message to everyone. So if I type down in this area and I said, hi, okay, that means everybody would see that, okay? If I want to do someone specific, <coughs> like, um, and that was my son, sorry. Um, if I want to do somebody specific, like, for example, a private message, I could select this right here where the everyone is, and then I could find somebody. So if I want to go to, say, the host, or everybody would be listed here that's in the meeting, I would click on that person's name, and then I would go ahead and send them a message. Okay, so let me go ahead and send a message. Sorry about the noise. And notice how it says privately. Okay, so now I know that nobody else saw the message except for that other person. Okay. But again, if you have it set to everyone, then that means that um, that just means that everyone is, is able to see it. So let me go back to the top left again to go to close to get back to my video. OK, and let's go back to the more again and notice how it says raise hand. OK, so I could click on the raise hand if I have a question like this from the Sunday school and then notice how it puts a hand up. OK, and so that just lets the host know that you have a question. So if I go back to by tapping on my screen again, I go back to the more and I go to lower hand. It's going to take the hand away now. All right. OK, real quick, I um, wanted to show you if there's more than uh, two people in the meeting, um, how you can get a better view of those people. Uh, so right now I have Benjamin helping me, all three of us are in the meeting. Um, so paying attention to the right side, OK, if I want to see everybody right now, I'm only seeing. Um, let me go ahead and put my camera on here on this one, on the host one, just so you can see. So now there's three people you can see to the left. There's two of me because I'm holding a phone in my computer and there's a side profile. Um, anyway, so you have the three people. Uh, so say I want to see better. Um, if I take my finger anywhere on, on my phone and I slide it, keeping my finger on the screen, I slide it to the left. Watch what happens. There's two little, there's three dots right here. And this dot is going to move over here now. Watch. I'm going to slide it to the left. And now I can see everybody, okay, on the screen. And so I think the way it works is if there's more than three, you have to keep sliding your, your phone to the, uh, or screen to the left, and you can see more people that way, I believe. Um, I've done more on the actual PC desktop than I have on my phone with Zoom. But anyway, so that's kind of how it works. Again, just kind of slide it over, and you get a better view. Uh, you can see everybody. If you slide it back to the right, I get back to this view, and there's Benjamin. Um, if I slide it again, then it says this. You can't see anybody, so just slide it back to the left, and then you see this again. Um, and let me see here. I slide it again, and I get that view. So hopefully this helps.